Hey, it's Jason from enlightenedwebmastery.com. Today, I'm going to talk about how to set up the proper permalink structure for SEO purposes inside of WordPress. Whenever you first set up your WordPress blog, you're going to be presented with something like yourdomain.com forward slash question mark P equals seven. That is what your posts look like. If you make another post, be P equals eight and so on and so forth. Now, you do not want this as your default permalink structure because this is not SEO friendly. People don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what you're trying to tell them. When they click on the link, it could be anything. You could be going to the website to learn about a cat. You could be learning about a math equation, talking about P equals seven. You don't really know when you see that link. So you need to try and change this. And what this video is gonna teach you how to do is how to change it, why to change it, and what to change it to. Now you may be wondering, what is the best permalink structure? How should I set this up? What's the best way for me to do this? Well, it all comes down to what your site is about, what you're focusing on, how your site's gonna be designed. If you went through my WordPress Foundations course, we walked through this step by step covering how your site's gonna be, what you're gonna be doing, how you're gonna teach it, how you're gonna lay it out. But if you didn't go through my course, what you're gonna to need to do is sit down, spend about 20, 30 minutes of your time and ask yourself, what is your blog going to be about? What are your goals for your blog? How's it going to be? What topics are you going to cover? How are you going to cover them? How often are you going to be doing this? Now, once you have that figured out, we can then proceed with how to properly choose the best permalink structure for you. So right now, I'm going to talk about the different types of permalink structures, how to use them, and what's good for which situation. Now, the first example up here is blah.com forward slash 2009-09-03. I like cats. Now, this permalink structure is going to be great if you're doing a new site. Now, inside of WordPress itself, they give you the option to choose this. And if you're going to be posting like three or four posts a day covering different topics, this is really going to be the best way for you to do this. That way, anybody can see, oh, okay, this is from 2009. Oh, this is from 2006. That way, they can tell if it's a new article, an old article, or what. Now, if you're going to be doing something a little more streamlined, a little more like one post a day, one post a week, one post a month, you might want to try and just do uh, percentage, post name, percentage. That's what I use on my blog. Now, when you do that, your blog is going to look like blog.com forward slash my dash cat dash eats dash fish. That's going to be your post name. That's all it's going to show up. You're not going to have no weird numbers. You're not going to have no P equals seven. And people are going to be able to tell from that URL, that permalink, what your post is going to be about. Now, the problem with this is you may run into duplicate posts. You may have a top 10 list, and then a year later, you may decide to do a top 10 list again and forgot you already did it, and that could cause problems. So another alternative is to do category, where you have percentage, category, percentage, forward slash, percentage, post name, percentage. This gives you blah.com, forward slash, category, forward slash, your post name. Or in here, we got cat, and then my cat eats fish. Now this is very, very useful because if you're talking about, say, if you're doing a camera blog, you could have one on Nikon, you could have one on Canon, and you could have one on uh, DSLR, point and shoot, and that could be your category. And then you can have your post name after that. So people can say, oh, I just want to see about your DSLRs, so I'll go to that category. Or, oh, I want to know everything about the Canon, I'm going to choose that category. But the problem still comes that you can still create duplicate titles duplicate names so the point of SEO and especially optimizing it your permalinks for WordPress is you want to have your keywords as close to your domain name as possible so an alternative to combat that is using the post name and then follow that by the post ID so look something like blah.com forward slash cat versus fish forward slash 2310 or 1927 whatever your post name is or your post ID is that's going to be at the end so it's URL post name post ID so once you've decided on which permalink structure is the best for you in your situation you need to go ahead and implement that today so you may be asking okay well how do I do that well all you need to do is go to your dashboard under settings choose permalinks from there you can insert your custom permalink structure now you may get a, a dot HTA access issue this is very very simple to resolve I cover it in the article but all you really have to do is open up a text editor such as notepad G edit text edit whatever you use and inside of there you need to copy and paste 
the information that it tells you. What you need to do is save the file as HTA access, not with a dot. Just save it as HTA access and then transfer that to your server. Once you have that file uploaded to your FTP server, go ahead and rename it to dot HTA access. Now your blog will work and function the way it should. Now, what if you already have a permalink structure set in place? Maybe you got the P equals seven or you got the date structure and it's not really appropriate for you. Well, the best thing to do, so you can go ahead and keep your link. So if you're already indexed to Google, you already got your backlinks and people are already linking to your blog, what you're going to have to do is redirect them. And the best way to do that is use this great, wonderful plugin called redirection. You can get uh, the link at my website or you can Google up uh, WordPress redirection plugin. Now this is very, very cool. And what it does is it basically just creates automatic 301 redirections for your blog. So whenever somebody clicks your old link to your P-754321 post, they're gonna be sent over to your purity, I like cats post or whatever your post is gonna be on. And this is gonna be much, much better. And once Google indexes your site, they're gonna get the new URLs and then nobody's gonna remember your weird P1732 link. So I hope you found this article useful, the video helpful, and I encourage you to go ahead and visit the website, lightandwebmastery.com, check out the article, if there's anything that you didn't get from the video, it's in detail there, and while you're there, you may as well subscribe to the RSS feed, sign up for the newsletter, and while you're still here at the video, go ahead and subscribe to the video. So have fun, implement this today, and I'll talk to you soon.